Hello world! Wave Time here bringing to you another episode of Minecraft Invasion. So, what I want to do is quote unquote upgrade my energy production. The reason why I say quote unquote is the fact that this canola press over here isn't actually getting much canola, if any at all. And I have these two garden cloches doing their business, so I think I might actually need a third garden cloche in order to do all the stuff that I need because this is going at a fast enough pace and I don't think there's any other problem with it so I think I might need to just repurpose this cloche for instead of having it add it's the beetroots which is well nothing beats it but I think I am going to want to do something other than that so I can also create a bit of sorry let me actually collect my thoughts next time I think about that so right now here as you can see I have this vibrant capacitor bank and I upgraded the wires so that all of the wires are now the enhanced version of the conduits instead of the regular energy conduits I have these enhanced energy conduits <coughs> sorry about that the reason I have this is because the throughput of the one down here, the capacitor bank here, was not able to handle the demands of all the stuff on the network. For instance, well, more so that this thing needed a bit more energy, and now that it has some energy, it should be able to make all the stuff that I need, hopefully. Why are you at max energy? Anyway, so I am going to still need more energy, and I think it might be a good idea to upgrade this eventually. I'm wondering if this thing is running right now, though. Because it doesn't have any energy. Well, it's not actually looking like it's using any energy. But I did see the laser going. Or at least I thought I did. Yep, there we go. Uh, but I do need to ramp up production of that canola anyways, just so that I may make sure that everything is nice and hunkadory. So let us move onwards with doing that. So I think I need to just repurpose a bunch of the stuff here so that I can do go about my business. Uh, speaking about repurposing, I think I want to get that chest mover. Uh, let's make one of these. I might have one of them somewhere else, but I'm not going to uh, worry about that right now. And I'll just move this so that it's here. So all that iron, or rather redstone, is going to go there. And I'm going to repurpose this thing to output all of the stuff that I need for this. So one canola seed. We got that. We got that. So this should be going at a pretty good tempo. Now, obviously, what I'm going to need to do now is hook this up so that it's properly, well, handling everything. It's going to be generating canola, and I need to send it out here. Now, this is obviously not the best way to go about things, and it's not really expandable. I shouldn't really necessarily think about expandability at this point in time anyways, since we don't have much that we need to worry about, but... I do want to expand this slightly at least. By expanding, I'm thinking I'm only going to maybe need to make one more garden cloche or probably going to need a bit more. So I'm going to make another garden cloche or at least two more. They aren't that difficult to make. I just need to make sure I have all the other stuff here, which is just a bit of iron and this iron mechanical component, which frankly, it's not that bad. So I'm going to make four of these and we'll see how it goes. Why are those guys there? I didn't think they are able to spawn there. I'm going to have to check the light situation over there. I got two of these T-Rex now uh, trying to wreck me, and I don't know if the laser turrets are able to... Okay, laser turrets are able to properly handle them like a boss. <sighs> now, the reason why I was worried about that was regular projectiles aren't able to handle the dinosaurs, but the fact that they spawned over here seems odd and it might be indicative that they ignore light levels for consideration on where to spawn I might be completely wrong about that but it's worrying enough that I am going to want to make sure 
to keep an eye on that and for the future, because that did not seem good. So I'm making a pretty simple expandable system, and I'm putting it on the outside because, frankly, it... Well, <sighs> well, the base is messy enough as it is, so there's no point trying to be super tidy and orderly about everything, but this is how we're doing it. So I need to set this up so that I take all of the stuff here and send it where it needs to be. So in order to do that, I need to extract to the black line because that's where I set all of my uh, seeds as well as the actual canola to go. So in order to set this up, I'm going to need to take a bit of canola seeds, rather, and I'm going to need to take some dirt. I don't think I have much dirt. Yes, I do. I have one, two, three. There we go. That is all I need for everything that I have right here. So, it's pretty simple. It's pretty sloppy, honestly. I'm sure the griffin would have something to say about this, but whatever. There, 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 and this is now extracting to the greater system. This, obviously, is stuck. So if I wanted to, I could set this up so that it's actually sending to the rest of the system, but I think this is fine for now. I might want to make another canola press, though. I Once again, I'm not sure what the ratio is for the canola oil to the regular oil. I think it's the 1 to 4 ratio for the canola press to the fermenting barrels, respectively. So we're going to see if that is the case. If that is the case, then I'm not going to need anything extra, but I might want to, just for sh to make sure, put one more canola press down, because we're going to have all the seeds required for us to make use of that. So canola press requires all of this stuff. So advanced coils, do we have any of this stuff in stock? Yes, we actually do, which is surprising. So we are going to need to hook this up and figure out what the other orientation here is. So it's black and it's auto insert naturally. So let's set this up so that it's black once we actually connect here. Uh, hello, 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 insert, black, then this will give some canola press. Hooray! Uh, not the most pressing matter in the world, but whatever. Puns, they are best repeated. Anyway, so that is good. We'll see how all of this ends up going. We might need to add some more fermenting bar barrels and oil generators. Yes, in fact, we have a surplus of oil, so we might want to work on that next. And we have 61 iron currently. And we're going to end up needing to use a lot more. So let's get all of this out. And we'll basically set a timer. I guess the timer is the length of this episode. We're eight and a half minutes through. So we'll see how long it takes to actually fill up that iron. Or rather, if I'm able to fill it up in the first place with that going at peak capacity. Now this thing it's basically extracting as much freaking energy as it possibly can and I don't think we've met the demands of all this stuff but we shall see hmm. yeah we're definitely generating more oil than we need and I don't think this yeah oil generators oil generators require how much iron not that much iron actually eight per so half stack in order to make another set of oil generators, then we have some more fermenting barrels that we need to place in order to do all this stuff. What do the fermenting barrels look like again? Uh, not Once again, not very hard at all. So I could just expand this right now. Why not? Okay, so let us set this up. We should be good to go. So... All we need to do really to expand this is get our fluid conduit going up like this. So it's connected like that and now we're going to need to place these down. Uh, we don't actually need all of these. I made too many naturally. Uh, place one of these here and one... Th why am I doing... Yes, that's why I'm doing that because that's not where I place the barrels. I place the barrel here. So we're going to need to set these down right here 
and we're going to need to set these so that it's only insert on all of these which means that I am going to have a fun time when I do this one Hup! insert and where does this go actually now that I think of it might as well try from up here it's probably right under there isn't it uh, yes it is uh, there we go I am being a successful and responsible adult I I swear do not mind the wreckage whatsoever. Ooh, we're also going to need to set that up. So that's probably doing that. And there we go. Now we should start getting some canola goodness in here. And if I were to ever want to expand up even more, I'm probably going to need to actually hook into all that goodness. Now the final thing on this coffin is we're just going to need to set these up appropriately and place our oil generators like so. So one, two, three, and finally four. And that has increased our RF production slightly. Now I don't know if these are able to handle all of it. In fact we don't have all the canola we possibly can. We're probably going to need to add that other one there just in case, but I think for now, we are doing well enough indeed. Why can I not shift-click that out of there? It's kind of weird that that is not a thing that I am able to do. Anyways, in that like five, ten minutes, I got two iron, which is kind of weird. You'd think that I'd be able to get a bit more iron out of all this stuff. Actually, it's not that weird because I had to temporarily disconnect this power because of some wiring issues. So we know that for sure it is eating all that energy because when I remove the connection it then just starts eating all the buffered energy so I might need to eventually expand this I'm not taking away that possibility in fact I'm pretty sure that is going to be what we need to end up doing but I think for now if this energy does not uh, keep us up I will kind of be surprised Someone said that I should be able to get a lot more iron, but maybe it's the fact that I didn't wait long enough before setting all this stuff up. I'm not sure, but we're going to actually continue with making all of the other things needed for the quests. And we will have a healthy amount of energy going into here. In fact, well... It's starting to slow down because that is eating up a lot of it, but we are getting a bit of a net surplus and enough of a buffer that if we need to do some modifications, we can temporarily disconnect that anyways. Let us get onwards with the quests. We need to make one more thing. We need to make that silicon bool constructor. That was the thing that we were trying to make. So to make that, let us look at our hollow projector and see what it's set to. So we need the crystallizer. And we'll place the crystallizer like here. And it needs to have those quartz crucibles. So I'll put a bunch of coils there, crystallizer block there. We have a power input and we can have the input and output for the manuals, like all the energy stuff. So I'm thinking I'll place it here. So we'll have that here. No, not there. There. <sighs> did it again I did it again there we are we need to add more stuff but the hopper doesn't take it at all well that was bad uh, in fact might as well place it here instead here instead and we'll just add some energy conduits here what type of energy conduits were was I using for this yes I was actually future proofing and making sure that I can actually have all the stuff here. So we're going to need to have a power input and we're also going to naturally need the quartz crucibles. I think the quartz crucibles is the main thing that we need to worry about but we don't have enough iron. I'm willing to wait a bit for this to create all the iron that we need. I don't think there's a backlog as far as stuff that needs to be processed, no. So unless I'm doing this setup wrong, 
and it's highly likely that I am doing it wrong I am going to need to probably upgrade this to a tier 2 machine it'll at least use less energy and thus I'll be able to make more things given a certain time frame but I'd rather not have to do that but we'll see how that goes so I'm going to wait for a bit see how much iron I get in maybe 10 minutes I think 10 minutes will be a decent sample size but then we're going to have to start thinking about maybe going out to get some other stuff so I figure I might as well deconstruct this and start working on the tier 2 variant tier 2 variant isn't going to require much more space in fact it'll just encroach on this layer here so I can take care of that while not being too worried about all the other stuff so it has one layer down and a bit to the side so let's vein mine most of this I'm gonna continually go up and down you know how I go maybe if I actually do it properly the first time but anyways uh, so I'm gonna make the tier 2 variant I don't think I want to make the tier 3 yet let's look at the tier 3 the tier 3 requires a bunch of tier 2 miners and stabilized enderpearls I do not have the iron in order to make that I do not even want to think about that right now but anyway so let's take these don't break good and we'll need to take this I think I made one too many laser cores in my preparation so let's just take all this and we'll take this and uh, okay we'll just ooh now that I think of it let's block that off so that doesn't happen I could tell where that is going a mile away and I do not want that to occur and it seems unfortunately we're going to have to do all this stuff the old-fashioned way like bunk bunk and bunk ah I mean I should see that this stuff is coming I'm notoriously bad now the upgrade version of the uh, ore miner that I need requires I think 24 structure block tier 2's so we only have 24 22 was it 22 let's check void ore uh, resource miner needs 32 structure block tier 2 or above and 16 machine blocks we have 20 machine blocks and it doesn't require say what type it requires well rather there's no tier 2 machine blocks so where it's pretty easy to just use these we're also going to need to grab this thing up here because I don't want to craft another one for no reason whatsoever is that too hard to ask no I didn't think so let's grab this now finally so eventually I'm just gonna place it right there maybe have a block before that but anyway so let us make all the other stuff that we need we're going to need to make another one of these I got all the stuff prepared for that and we're also going to need to make two more of these god damn it I don't think I might have just enough gold like just enough gold to squeak all that by but I don't think I do uh, let's see five this isn't enough for a block and I only have 16 processing dang it I need to wait for a bit of gold then or I can just well that was a bit of gold already How, oh yeah duh. Ah, so now I need a bit of gold aren't I uh, aren't I um, I obviously thought of this way ahead of time so it seems that I'm going to need to replace this set this oh my god uh, replace this get this assembler and rebuild it because that worked out very well so the reason why I didn't wait for just a bit more gold was well not too obvious I guess but obvious enough I did not have enough gold because in order to make those structure blocks the tier 2 structure blocks require well the tier 1 structure blocks require a bit more gold 
and I need to make, I currently have 24, and I'm going to need to make 8 more gold, so I need, sorry, 8 more of these blocks, therefore I would need 16 more gold in total. I currently don't have that, so doing that would have been basically impossible in order to do. Now, I currently have 21 iron, I don't think I put my iron away anywhere. No, I didn't, so I must have used it for... Yes, I used it for making the laser cores ahead of time. So I'm now even more deficient in iron, because I'm going to need to make um, crucibles. So that's 7 times 6, so 42 iron required. You only have half of that. So I guess I'm going to be forced to do a bit more dungeoneering, and hopefully I can find a bit more gold while I am out doing all of that. So I will be right back, hopefully not too much time, then we can actually make a bit of progress on this home front. Okay, now that is unfair. That was an invisible witch. She was completely invisible and I couldn't see her whatsoever. And that, oh that is, that is a lot of poison. That is a lot of poison. Oh god. Uh, okay, I need to go up here. So, I just got hit with a bunch of poison. Ah, oh, god, 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 god. Okay. So, I got hit with a bunch of poison. And, as such, I am currently suffering from a lot of damage. Uh, poison is gone, so I'm basically going to cheese the regeneration by going up in the air, maybe finding a safe place, but I'm basically in a very dangerous situation because the witch was freaking invisible. I mean, that... that I mean, I should kind of expect this sort of stuff. Really. In the end, it is kind of my fault, because I didn't expect that on the ninth raid difficulty, we would get invisible freaking witches. <sighs> Maybe it's a random potion effect, and this random potion effect happened to be invisibility at this point in time. So I am low on energy, I only have 21k, probably just enough for 21 teleports, so I'm going to have to be extra careful in this uh, resource gathering. I only got 12 airdrops and 2 bits of iron, and I don't think I can even decompose these um, golden apples into gold. Man, that is so low gold, that is unbelievable. So I'm going to have to keep on searching, and I don't think I checked that thing over there, so I'll wait for this, then go away over there. Ugh. Invisible witches! Ugh. ah -ha! Perfect! Cheesing the system one way at a time. Yeah. Man, one of those uh, raiding raider upgrades, whatever the heck you want to call it, must have really increased the spawn rate of witches. I ran into a lot of witches on my way, well, on my adventures and on the way back, and it was pretty scary to say the least. So I got a lot of airdrop containers, which I am going to start processing into iron bitties of goodness and life. I don't think the iron pickaxe is going to manage to get its way through. But anyways, finding those two buildings, which had two cauldrons each, was a godsend, I must say. It means that I can make these crucibles a lot more easily without having to worry too much about the cost. Or at least, oops, that's not what I want to do. At least I can do this. So we got enough for all the quartz crucibles that we are going to need. And we're... And we still have some iron on the way to being processed, which is good. Didn't find as much gold as I was hoping. That's enough for three more gold blocks, so that at least gets the tier two? Tier two thing. Actually, I do need more diamonds, so maybe it was a good thing that I didn't manage to get that. Uh, but that is not too bad. So we got 16 iron currently in there. 
and we are going to have a lot more on the way. Who forgot that there was silicon dust there. But let us make that machine first of all. Where is it? We are going to need to get our hollow projector and we'll get some more of our goodies that we need to actually use that we put away for temporary uh, storage. Don't need this, and I don't care about uh, Susan Cena, probably wife of John Cena though, so maybe I should care a bit. Uh, so go up here a bit, and we can see that we need a bunch of quartz crucibles. And we'll just place those down, nice and easy. We're also going to need a power input plug, which we'll put there. Maybe I should have... Eh, anyways, and we're also going to need coils. Now I think I have all the stuff required for aluminum coils. Aluminum coils are going to require aluminum ingots, which I definitely have enough of. But I, once again, shift-click like a moron, and anyways, there's we go. So we'll need power input there, and we're also going to need an input and output hatch. How many input and output hatches do we have? We don't have either of them, but a hatchet might be able to suffice. So let's get a power input... This is probably going to require tin plates, apparently. Uh, not that bad. So let's get maybe this. We'll just make a bunch ahead of time. And we'll make four iron ones ahead of time, just in case we are going to end up needing those. We probably will need to end up using those, but whatever. Uh, we also need a hatch. Two hatches. Input hatch and output hatch. So we can make the input hatch easily enough. We can also make the output hatch easily enough, like there and there. And we're also going to need to make the crucible proper, so we'll have to get that going soon. So in my other machine, I had input hatch here, output hatch there, so I'll keep that as consistent as possible. And we're also going to need the power input hatch which requires these small batteries, which is good, because then I can just do that. And the final thing we're going to need is the actual, uh, what is it called? What is it called again? Hollow projector says it is the crystallizer. Crystallizer! So the crystallizer requires a lot of stuff to be made. Steel plate, redstone repeaters, etc., etc. Doesn't, don't need to repeat myself as far as that goes. So let's make these, which is a simple enough thing. We got that, we got that. So we got that. We also need the screen. And I think we'll need a bunch more lime. I think that's all the cactus screen we had. That is kind of surprising when I think about it. Only when I think about it, though. When anybody else thinks about it, it's not surprising whatsoever. I think we got everything else. We need a steel plate, so let's process the steel. Probably waiting for a bunch of other stuff. Uh, give me. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> Gotta move that. So steel plate, that's fine. We have the silicon plates as well because we need them for this. So copper plate for this. And a gold plate for that. So let's get our plates out. So we need copper and gold. So copper plates, let's make four of them, and let's make gold, uh, four gold plates as well. We might as well go with this. So one, one, and then we'll do that, so that I can just pick them up as they're being made, or not, I can go with the or not approach, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it makes sense why that happened, but anyways, it's kind of annoying all the same. So we need silicon plates as well. Wait, what? Where's the crystallizer? Crystallizer, I needed to get the silicon plates. Yeah, why don't oh, I already have the silicon plates on my person. Derp, derp. Uh, gold plates, there we go. And let us actually get the redstone that we require. And now we'll find out that we don't actually have everything that we need. So input hatch. So that, that, and that. Precision assembler. It needs silicon plate, gold plate, and redstone for that. Go. Okay, and we need that, that, and that for the other thing. So we got that. 
and this should be everything that we need unless it's a precise recipe. Did I mess that up? Redstone, gold plate, silicone plate. 10 hour off a tick, time 10 seconds. So theoretically, this should be... Um, ignore that please. There we go, now that's actually working. Because for some reason it wasn't working before, yeah. Uh, let's just pick that up. Okay, so now we have everything that we need. We should just be able to do that. Now we have the crystallizer, and we can place the crystallizer here. Right click. What are we missing? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Mm. No, no, no. Please don't. So. No. Output hatch. Crystallizer. Input hatch. Power input. And we have our two coils. Aluminum coil and gold coil there. Do we need the input hatch to be on that side? I think we do. It might require the hatches to be on particular sides. There we go. That's kind of weird that it, this machine required a particular orientation for that. But here we go. We got a crystallizer. The speed has been improved because we have the aluminum coil quite vastly. And all we should need to make the silicon bools. Uh, let's just check that. Silicon bools requires a silicon ingot and a silicon nugget. Which is an easy enough thing to do because I can just smelt the stuff that I already have ready at my disposal. I think down here. Ah, <sighs> somewhere. Yay. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Minecraft Invasion. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. I'm just going to check this for funsies, even though I am experiencing a lot of lag right now. We have time here. Signing off. Hopefully getting this going. Have a wonderful day. Uh, go! Yeah! Ooh, that looks cool.